Hi, I'm Jennifer Fulweiler. I'm a speaker here at the Defending the Faith Conference, which is kind of funny. I, th this is never where I imagined that I would be. When I was in college, in fact, I was a militant atheist. I did not like Christianity at all. I was fully committed to the atheistic worldview. But an interesting thing happened. I ended up with a roommate who was a really serious Christian, a, a wonderfully devout Christian, and her name was Allison. And she used to try to evangelize to me, and it never worked. I, it, every time she tried, I would, at, I would react with more hostility than the time before. I denounced what she believed. A lot of times, I had some pretty good arguments in my defense, and I know that at the end of all that, she felt like she had failed in evangelizing to me. And frankly, there were times when I would ask her tough questions, a couple of moments where maybe I was actually a little curious, and her answer to me was, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that question. And I am sure that she left that college experience thinking that she must have totally failed in evangelizing to me. Well, God being how he is, uh, about a, a decade later, the Holy Spirit started to move in my life in a big way. Things started happening. And I, under, I began to undertake this conversion process where I was growing closer to the Lord and, and to the church, and I was actually open to these truths. And suddenly, I started remembering the things that she would say back in college. I started remembering that simple, humble witness of my Christian roommate. And suddenly, that seed that she planted by simply loving the Lord and doing the best she could, even when that meant having the humility to say, honestly, Jen, I don't know, that seed, the Holy Spirit took that when I was in my late 20s and it blossomed in a great way and that laid the foundation for me to move forward in my Christian faith. And so that is the message that I want to, to leave everyone with is I know so many people have loved ones who have fallen away and so often you feel like you don't have the right words or you're in a conversation with them and of course five minutes after the conversation's over you think oh I should have said I should have said this and I should have quoted that encyclical I'm here to say you don't need to worry about that just love the Lord share your authentic Christian witness the best way you can and you will plant a seed and you never know what God might do with that seed later on.